Hi guys, thanks for tuning into this Diagnostic World video. In this video, we are going to uh, go through the benefits and the features and the functions and the differences between the iCarsoft LR version 1.0 and the LR version 2.0. As you can see, they obviously look different. They are designed to have different features and uh, special functions installed into each one. Um, you'll pay more for this one than you will for this one. But we'll dive in and we'll uh, we'll take a look at the each tool individually. Unfortunately, I can't hook up uh, and power both tools at the same time, so we're going to have to do it one at a time. Um, and these both of these tools are available at Diagnostic World. It's www.diagnostic-world.com and I'll put the link to these kits in the description below this video. So we're in a Land Rover Discovery right now and uh, the engine is running although we don't have any faults I'll go through the processes of uh, showing you how we would diagnose a fault with a tool like this. Uh, so this is the connection cable that each tool will come with and um, the other end of this right now is plugged into the diagnostic port which is kind of just under there underneath the vehicle so this is the M uh, sorry the LR version 1.0 kit and this kit replaces the i930 kit uh, for those familiar with the iCars or products um, there was a kit called the i9 in fact the i930 this is the tool here so this is what this replaces this was a good tool but this is just better it has better software and has a few more functions so the tools plugged in now and um, we are presented with a menu so this tool has uh, nine different things on the main menu here and the two main things that it will do is diagnose all of the systems like your engines your ABS airbags uh, transmission, suspension, uh, parking sensors, you name it. So for example what we'll do is we'll just click in here and we'll click into Land Rover, it's a 2010 Land Rover Discovery that we're in. So it's select your vehicle, Discovery. This, the, fo the process that I'm going to show you on this particular bit is exactly the same for both tools. So it'll show you, allow you to diagnose the engine, gearbox, ABS, airbags, ride level control to your suspension. And it'll go through all of these systems. Now, these are the same for both particular kits. So it's giving us 39 different options, 39 different systems for us to diagnose. So let's say, for example, you want it to check a fault within the engine system. Click on the engine, click on read fault code. In this vehicle, no code found, which is good news. So we'll come out of that part, and then we'll go into the oil reset. So this well, it basically speaks for itself. It allows you to reset the oil service message that you're getting on screen when your vehicle is due a service. So I'm just Forgive me for going really quickly, it's just I'm trying to get through the video. Um, so you select which one you want, which one you need. So that's, in a nutshell, that is what this tool will do. It'll give you other things which are also covered on the, the version 2.0, and I'll get to those in a moment. But uh, the other things on this main screen are battery voltage, so it gives you live data on your battery, um, a quick access to diagnose any engine faults, uh, look up diagnostic trouble codes, review the data that you've been through, set up the tool, help, and how to use the tool and information about the tool so that there for example is going to give you software updates uh, sorry software numbers vision numbers serial numbers etc so the two main functions or the two main reasons why somebody would probably buy this tool is to get di uh, diagnostic access to all of the main systems as we've seen earlier and also maybe reset the uh, the oil service warning light uh, that is the version 1.0 kit and now what I'll do is I'm just going to unclip this the good thing is that the connection is exactly the same for the version 1 and the version 2 so this is the version 2 so I'll just plug that in there and again tighten that these are nuts and now we're into the version 2.0 looks quite similar but there are differences so the diagnostics what we went into before is just the same I don't really need to show you this because you've seen it uh, it's just for the uh, the purpose of the video and I'll, show, I'll just go through the vehicles there that's all we need to look at so that is exactly the same this is where 
the service option, this is where the tool is different. So on the other tool, we had oil service reset here. On this tool, we've got service, click under. We've got oil reset there, but it also opens up the tool to different functions. So as well as oil service reset, you've got electronic parking brake, you've got new battery registration, electronic throttle control, steering angle sensor, DPF, brake bleeding and injector coding. Now one thing I do need to point out about this particular screen is that just because it's on here doesn't necessarily mean it will work on your specific vehicle. Um, Unfortunately, the say for example the DPF. Let's say DPF for example. Although the system is on, the uh, the option is on there, and we can click into it. It may only work for say for example, seventy five percent or seventy percent of the Land Rover vehicles. It may not work on all of them. Um, so it is something to be mindful for, and that is the same for all of these. So I guess it's not always sort of. <laughs> straightforward and it's not always easy to find out if your vehicle is covered by one of these functions the easiest thing to do is to contact us our email is at the bottom of the email at the card there that is the email just I'll put the email in the description below this video contact us if you want to know if these functions or features are suitable for your particular vehicle uh, because we don't want you to obviously be disappointed and buy a tool and find out it's not suitable and have to return it. Um, so that's that's just what we'd recommend, but those are the main differences between the version 1.0 and the version 2.0. Obviously, as I mentioned earlier, you'll pay more for the version 2.0 as opposed to the 1.0, but look, it all really depends on what you need the tool for. If you're buying a Land Rover, say example, a Freelander 1, which doesn't which doesn't have a DPF system installed then you may not you may not even need to use this tool this tool might be uh, perfectly fine for your needs so it all depends on what functions and what systems you need to diagnose or reset um, one thing I do know is that they're both very very good tools very competent tools uh, when the iCarsoft tools first came out with the i930 and the LR2 Software wasn't as advanced as it could be. It's way more advanced now, so you get really good software with these tools, and uh, we are obviously very uh, sort of proud and happy to to have these on our shelves. They are available, as I say, at Diagnostic World. It's www.diagnostic-world.com, and I'm going to put the link to both of these kits in the description below this video. So I hope this video has answered any questions of yours, uh, but if, you, if, if it hasn't, then please, by all means, contact us via the email, get in touch with us through the website, not the messages below this YouTube video, and we'll gladly take a look at that for you to see if it's gonna be suitable for your needs. Thanks for watching, and I hope this helps.